James B. Madonna, and the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Okay, we are here. Another week has flown by, of course. I say that every year. And I don't care about that in January, believe me. Oh, let it fly. Exactly. Get it the hell out let, of here. Let old man, the days of old man winter, let it fly. It's just the part that, you know, when the weather is nice and it warms up, that flies too fast. Yeah, that's, that's, that's no good. But as far as snowfall, and the reason why I say snowfall is because I had to do some shoveling today. Luckily, it was a very wet, soft, slushy snow, but you know, which doesn't make it easier when you lift it because water with snow makes it heavier. But as far as chopping goes, there was no chopping involved. I, 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 I save an old kitchen broom and that's how I push the snow off my car. Just with the old broom. Anyway. You think you might do that uh, uh, if you get one of those uh, magnetic uh, cupboards for the windshield? Or somebody will steal it? I'm afraid Where somebody Where you park will, your car. I'm afraid someone... Well, we don't have yet. We don't have any uh, theft or shenanigans uh, or hooligans in my neighborhood yet yet but it's an idea well the other day somebody slashed up a whole bunch of car tires over New York well that figures I don't know where or well, that figures yeah. then you wonder why some of the cops lose their cool lose their composure if, yeah, if, if some punk around, if some punk you know kept on doing if I caught a punk doing that I probably beat the shit out of him you know I, I got no tolerance for anything but 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 uh, there is such a thing as going too far yeah. which has been what's happening going overboard vandalism well I mean police brutality no respect for other people is property. actually worse than the the vandalism but but yeah, well, the, well, um, younger generation now in the end times has no respect for anyone, not even themselves. Yeah. You know, there's no manners involved. I mean, they don't say thank you when you hold doors open for them. They certainly don't even use their bodies as a temple. No, do they? they don't care. They, they don't give a shit. They just walk around in a trance, staring at their smartphones, texting, texting, texting. They're or not somebody else's smartphone that they robbed, or someone else's smartphone that they robbed. <laughs> they they're not un, they're unaware of their environment that surrounds them. You know they know nothing about what's going on in the world. Hey, and these well, are the, and these sure. are the people. This is the average American that has to go to the well. If if they do their their duty, they will go to the polls and vote. Uh. Right, but the people that go to the polls and vote are numbskulls because the average American is a bona fide numbskull. I mean they don't even know the basics that they should know when they graduate high school. They don't, they don't, well, many of them no, don't. No, they have to have remedial, t uh, you know, classes in college. College students don't even know their their basic geography. Oh, you know, states, the, the capital, the capitals of the states and and I was always very excellent in geography, but I mean, give me a break. And and I play. I posted an article on our Facebook group, Uncensored Hard Hitting Truth, about how American academia has dumbed down. Yes, they had to. The American student. They are not. They are not prepared for the 21st century. They are not prepared for the world today. They have been dumbed down, and that's a understatement but anyway I'm sorry I didn't uh, 
properly uh, start the show f in a formal manner. Welcome to uh, Uncensored Hard Hitting Truth. I'm your host, James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21. And uh, yes, it is January 2015. It is uh, the middle of January, Saturday afternoon. And uh, let's see. Uh, hey. I think let let me introduce you to my illustrious co-host and mentor, the very founder of Newsletter Censored, which is the foundation of our organization. In 1977, I introduced to you the, the one and only the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. How are you feeling this week, sir? Okay, as long as the uh, January gets out of here and this stupid... You know we're supposed to have more on Monday. Old geezer winter? More snow? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we don't need that crap. Well, um, uh, one of the gentlemen that uh, we are, we have been consulting as of late uh, by the name of Stephen, Stephen from uh, Morris County, New Jersey, contacted me and, you know, he's, he can't find a job and mm. he's, he's broke and, uh, Despite the fact that Republicans and teabaggers think he, there's plenty of jobs out there. Oh, is he lazy too? No, not really. <laughs> he seems like a pretty good, pretty decent guy. Well, well anyway, he's being jerked around Ooh. by welfare. Uh, he was supposed to have uh, a, they have a new thing now, uh, a telephone interview to recertify his food stamps and Medicaid for 2015. And they gave him an appointment, I believe, uh, this past Friday, which was yesterday. Uh, they gave him an appointment of 12.30 p.m. that they will call him. And he stood home all day. And did he get the call? No. No. So now he's got to um, drive down there with the letter. Okay. And, uh, and, and hopefully get a manager in person and find yeah. out what's going on here. Who is jerking him around? Or are they all told to jerk people around? All I know is $5 billion was cut from the food stamp budget. Right, but not from corporate no. subsidies. No. Because I heard the, uh, the oil companies are getting billions oh, in new in lots, new lots in billions. new corporate subsidies, of but course. they don't have money for the poor and for the veterans in 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 f terms of food stamps, in terms of other aid, and 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 low gas prices are hurting the United States economy. Who says that? The Koch brothers? Oh, yeah, yeah. Of oh, course. they're being hurt. Oh, the poor Koki Koki Wokies are being hurt. One would think that lower gas prices would be a godsend to the economy. But no. Yeah. Oh, the old uh, 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 Dow Jones is going down oh. and because of the gas prices going down. Well, you know the rich always cry. Well, cry everything poverty. has been inflated in the first place. So if prices go down, that's a good thing. Oh, yeah. I mean, um... But, of course, the profit margins won't be as big. Because these people don't look long-term. They look uh, quarter to quarter. Well, we had that, too. You know, and um, the corruption continues. <coughs> and the idiots out there still believe what the Republican Party tells them. Because the Democrats are baby killers. It's, it's as simple as that. Oh, you're talking about oh, you're talking about that religious cult, that uh, Demdar teabaggers in Demdar red states. Yeah, in, in America. In America. Yeah. America. M U R I C A. Mm -hmm. In America. Yeah. The cult. Yeah. That and they have the moral high ground. That doesn't realize. It has no answer. When I, when I pose this question to them. Is a fertile chicken egg a chicken? I think you're the one that taught me that. That's correct. Is a foidal, I mean fertile chicken egg a chicken? Of course not. Well then, cut the crap about a fertilized 
human egg or an embryo that breeds like a fish. And that is actually not even an egg yet. Just the, uh, just the uh, coming together of the spermatozoon and the ovum. Oh, that, that is life! That's a human... Right that's, there! That's a baby according to these nuts. Like, uh, what's his name? John Fuckaby? John Fogarty was with Creed. No, no, uh, no, uh, uh, Huckabee, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, Mike Huckabee. Mike Huckabee uh, and other religious nuts like him. John Hagee and, and all of them. Put Pretty them sure. all together. Oh. All right-wing zealots. Come on. A fertilized egg or just the sperm and zoom. Now, Zoa? let us conduct a small thought experiment. Sure. Let us presume that we are gods for a moment. Demigods or... No, fall? real gods. Okay. Could I be Apollo? No, he wasn't a real god. All right. God, god A and God B. The Word and the Father. Right. Okay. And we have Mr. Adam. Mm-hmm that we have created out of the dust of the earth. Right. And he's lying there before us. He has no energy in his body. No breath of life. Not yet. Nothing. We just put them together, like Frankenstein. Like an android. Like Frankenstein, right? And we didn't get the electric going yet. He didn't put the bolts in his neck. Right. So when we're done with all of that... Hopefully the bride won't be as ugly, but anyway. When we're done with all of that... Yeah. We breathe into his nostrils, and he becomes a living soul. The breath of life, you mean? The breath of life, yes. Well, that's what the Bible says when life begins, doesn't it? Uh, Adam's life, yes, absolutely. Well, if it's Adam's life, then it has to be all life. But when the spermatozoon human life. And the ovum come together, there's no breathing involved. Because the embryo free, the fetus and, and so on doesn't breathe at that particular time of conception. Just like the fertile chicken egg. They, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. Of course the they don't. The but right wing is talks out of their ass. They've made these things politics. Well, then all these pastors should pay taxes. I'm sorry. Well, no, even if they pay taxes, religion has no business being in politics. Why should they be in business? No, if I mean... they have no proof... No. Why should they even be in business? And, of course, it is a business. Now... Before I opened the door to let Steve, the cat, back in the house, he wasn't there. Now that we're on the air, he's there. the motherfucker wants to come in. It's cats for you. It's cats. They bust your balls when, when, when they're sperm in the zoom. Come on. Cat's delicatessen. When a cat is, well, yeah, cat's delicatessen. Hey, I could use a hot pastrami sandwich Ooh. or a corned beef. Ooh. When these, when these friggin' animals, when they, when cats conceive, okay, they're, they're given the DNA to bust the balls of their human owners. You Funny. must aggravate the humans that uh, that adopt you or purchase you. Funny thing about cats. You, you know you're a motherfucker, don't you? Let, let's say <laughs> a cat gets pregnant by another cat. Another cat. And it make, they sound like babies when they have sex. That's because he's biting her. Oh, he's, you mean cat, male tomcat. Tomcats are rough during yes, sex. Yes, yes. Oh, really? But... And they have spurs on their penis, I think. The last cat in line to bang that queen. That's whose sperm makes the babies. The so what you're saying is these are the fluff these are fluff cats. 
like the fluff girls of a porn movie. So the the, the oh, you're talking about, I'm talking about one, one tomcat, one male having sex with multiple female, no, one female, one? multiple males having oh, sex what, with her. What sluts? You mean the, the, fe the female cat. cats are, are that slutty? Last cat in line. Oh my gosh. That's who makes her break. So a cat. A female cat gets gangbanged, is what yeah, you try to tell me. that's what I'm saying. But it's the last male that plays hide the salami with her. It's the last male, and then she refuses any more males. No, it has nothing to do with refusing. It has to do with reproduction. Well, that's how, do, how, they're how do you deter? Work. Well, how do you if she's getting gangbanged by different males? How do you know which one is the last? Does it well, end? How the hell do you know which one was the last? I'm just saying about the the action. I don't care who's the last, first, third, or in the middle. You're confusing me. I'm saying which tomcat? Let's say ten cats. Well, they're all males, they're all blowing their one female. Right, and they're all blowing their scum guppies in there. Right. It is only the last one whose scum guppies will conceive, will unite with her ovum. That don't make sense. To unite. Usually first come first serve, isn't it? Nope. That don't make sense. How, now nope. what's wrong with the spermatozoa of the of the of the first cats? I have no idea. That's the way it is. I'm not arguing with it. Even their own, even how they are with each other, is illogical and, and <laughs> aggravating. Illogical. They aggravate one another. Jim, <laughs> it's illogical. As Spock would say, it's illogical. <laughs> but it was. You know what? We haven't seen the levity bells in a long time. Actually, in months. That was pretty funny. Now, getting back to if we were gods, Ooh. did you finalize that before this one here interrupted? Yeah. Yeah, so. The breath of life. The breath of life. There you go. Chicken, the fertilized chicken, I mean, the, fer <laughs> the fertilized yeah, yeah. egg is not a chicken fertilized human egg is not a baby. That's it. You know what? It's almost like it is a waste and, of time to debate with these right-wingers. Yeah, and just like uh, uh, there's nothing in the Bible that says anything against abortion. Nothing. Hey, Jesus didn't have anything disparaging to say about gays. That's correct. Those laws... <laughs> Those laws come from the Old Testament, and then some one of your guys on your thing the other day, he's saying those were Jewish laws, and uh, the New Testament we don't do. Oh, you we don't believe them. You're talking about Joe Johnson. Oh, well, Joe what? Johnson made made some kind of statement about Leviticus. Yeah, he said, well, those laws were for the Jews. I told him the other day. I said, Hey, Joe. No, I think it was Nathan. I'm not sure. Oh no, you're talking Nathan. about the Facebook group. Joe is on YouTube. Yeah, 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 yeah. Joe is uh, uh, commented on YouTube. Oh, okay. so, so anyway, I told Nathan, I said, hey Nathan, there were 12 tribes. Only one was Jewish, Judah. And that comes later. They were not even called Jews until uh, one kings or two kings uh, when uh, Israel, the 10 tribes, split from Judah and Benjamin and the ten tribes have their uh, 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 capital at Samaria and the Judah and Benjamin have their capital at Jerusalem. They were separate nations. People don't know these things. Of see. course they don't know these things. Uh, Nathan, the Jewish laws. Nathan never replied to me when I said he looked like Roy Orbison with, with the those shades. He's always wearing the shades. Only the lonely. <laughs> yeah, he never replied, but uh, he does kind of look like him, but with lighter hair. Anyway, let us sink our teeth into these. Uh, 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 not yet. Uh, uh, no. Yeah, but we got. We're, we're not going to be able to. We're not going to get through no, the, we don't the readings in a timely fashion. We don't care. We got plenty yes. of readings. I don't want to end up with Dear Abby for the whole show. Oh, I hope so. But it doesn't make us hard-hitting. It doesn't make us uncensored hard-hitting. We gotta hit hard, man, below the belt. I believe it is hard-hitting 
when we discover that Mr. The young Alex Malarkey is a liar. All right, mention I him. I think then. that is hard hitting. All right, mention Malarkey, being full of Malarkey. I just did. When I say hard hitting, I mean the kid. You know, the Congress, the Republicans, John yeah, Boehner. Yeah. Uh, 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 um, that same old. You know, uh, 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 Ted Cruz being in charge of uh, NASA and science and all this crap. But all that is the uh, same old, and uh, it, it is. We know it's going to happen. They're not embracing climate change, the Republican uh, uh, Congress, blah, 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 blah. But we know these things. That's what I'm saying. But what are we going to do? We can't talk about frivolous things for the whole show. I just said, Alex Malarkey is not a frivolous thing. All right, take it away. The kid was in an R, a car accident. Right. Went into a coma. Yes. When he came out of the coma, he said he went to heaven. How could he, he was in heaven and he described new how things could he, how could he prove in this? heaven. How could he prove it? Why do so many people believe him? Because they're idiots. Why do you think so many people believe in heaven and hell, the tradi and traditional they keep on, concept? And they keep on mentioning the rapture and they mention and, the and they mention that in throughout the Bible, uh, the word hell and torment with the with the grinding of the gritting of teeth. Hell and torment is throughout the Bible. Gnashing. Gnashing. Throughout the Bible is the fact that, that those judged unworthy of uh, 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 eternal life will be burned up in the lake of fire. Well, where Period. Does, where does, they will be ashes blown to the wind. Where does the word for all the, eternity? The word is torment and the gnashing of teeth come in. The into. second death. I don't know where it is. The word hell in the New Testament is translated from Hades. Hades. And Gehenna. Which is the grave. And Gehenna. The grave. That's in the Old Testament. Yep. Gehenna was a fire outside of Jerusalem. You know where I first Where they burned trash. You know where I first heard this from? From uh, Garner Ted Armstrong before he got canned by his father, Herbert W. You know why he got canned? He, he was naughty. Oh, but why he was naughty? He's taking because money. Because he went along with that crapola from the prosperity preachers. Oh, he got a little uh, uh, yeah. seduced by uh, the material world. Yeah. He, he don't want to be spiritual anymore. Yeah. Ah. So Mr. Father had to come along and, you know, put him in his place. He got, uh, he got swayed away from the... From he got off track. Yeah, a little. He was derailed a little bit. A little. And he didn't, he, and he didn't reared like. its ugly head. And apparently he didn't want to give up materialism because Herbert W. never brought him back on the show. No. No, he didn't. So him. apparently. He's dead actually now anyway. They're both dead. Yeah, but he died earlier. Garner. Garner. Yeah, yeah he had like snow white, gray, he had a short gray. Uh, crew cut like yeah no way. he had a nice head of hair he actually had a nice head of hair and he actually had a very nice speaking voice and he was quite uh, attractive to look at yeah he was a, he, he he had a very he had an excellent television Countenance, as the bible would say television video presence yes yes, yes. you know he's not like um, like let's say rush limbaugh looks you know, on video, he's not like that. He's like he's an attractive man. He had a great voice, and that's it. Like other people with great voices, like James Earl Jones, you know, uh, James Earl the Jones. late Barry White, and that uh, right-wing conservative that's on radio. I forget his name. He's an old man now. He's an old geezer. Yeah, he had a, he had a nice voice. Yeah. Anyway, malarkey. So Larkey's finally confessed that he lied. But all these idiots bought the book. Yes, they did. And they were right away, Oh, yes, and, it's true. And yes. Ooh. And obviously... All these zealot, uh, right-wing, yeah, holy rollers. all these religious people, so-called, and they didn't read the part of the Bible that says... No one has gone to heaven except he who came down. See, obviously they leave that part out. 
Yeah. Or they call Jesus a liar. <clears throat> oh yeah, they're contradicting the Bible itself. They're That's contradicting true. God. That's sure. true. They're 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 rewriting. The, uh, they're they're uh, committing the sin of the 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 last page of Revelation. Well, aren't they rewriting it? And when they give you the tra the traditional concepts of heaven and hell, when those are not in the Bible. Well, you, you did you did teach these jabronis very well when you said the Bible is coded. Is, is coded. It is not meant for everyone to understand, Correct. and it's it's here a little and there a little. little, and it's not chronologically to be read. There were certain parts, yeah, at certain times in the past and in the future that must be revealed to the prophet or whoever is carrying on the message. This thing. Yeah. There were some there were some things in the Bible that could not be understood in in uh, Daniel's day, in John's day, and they were both told to well, Ezekiel and 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 and, and they were told that to eat the scroll that they were writing down because and Daniel don't worry about it because it is not the time yet for these things so these things were written thousand years thousands of years ago and are applicable today not then that's prophecy but there are some prophecies that it could only be understood let's let's just take um, Herbert W. Armstrong and his time on the earth. There were certain things revealed that were only applicable at that time. There are certain things that will be revealed. There are, there are in uh, Revelation two witnesses at the end. Two witnesses who get revelation and etc. and they go preaching and a corner and you know that this that and the other thing and the people don't like it because as your friend said yesterday there will be a falling away during the end time from yeah. religion yeah from the, so true about, religion yeah. not the other religions they'll probably because the it is prophesied that the Catholic Church, the Roman Catholic Church, the Protestants are supposed to again join with the Roman Catholic Church. This is prophesied to happen. So that's not a falling away, is it? But there will be a falling away in the true church, as there was You're right. under Herbert W. Armstrong when he died and when Pack took over there was a falling away and another church had to rise up the Philadelphia church to take over the message because the message got lost in the worldwide church of God right see so a lot of things are not uh, understandable and of course all you need to do is go back to the parables that Jesus was given and he tells his his apostles when they ask him why do you speak in parables it's not for them to understand it's for you to understand well he only reached what was it 120 people like so yeah, Jesus well, by the time he was crucified but the point of it is he was hiding things from the multitudes so it wasn't meant for that many to really hear it so then you got these people on Facebook and etc. and they, they come to Jesus, come to Jesus. You can't come to him. He's got to call you. See, they don't. They don't. They because don't say that. Because he's not. He's hiding things from you. Yeah, they don't say that. Exactly. Because they believe Jesus is out there. They want to save everybody. Could you imagine, Reverend Bill, if um, from from a, a, a fate standpoint uh, of destiny standpoint if the uh, the great library of Alexandria Egypt was not destroyed and if the Roman Catholic Church if the Pope did not oppress science like da Vinci and Galileo 
and uh, and and others. Kepler, and Copernicus, Copernicus, uh, uh, Nostradamus, yeah. uh, what he did, and and then uh, uh, if if Nikola Nikola Tesla was ex was it was backed financially instead of Thomas Edison, or maybe if they were both backed, and if uh, uh, um, your your buddy there, uh, uh, Argon Energy, uh, uh, Reich. Reich. Wilhelm Reich was allowed to do his thing, and he wasn't oppressed. Which can you imagine how much more advanced we would be now, technologically? That might be a bad thing, though, because that's what happened at the Tower of Babel. They got too advanced for God's timetable. In other he words, had to slow them down. The timetable would have been screwed up. He had to slow them down by confounding the languages. At that time, there was only one language being spoken. And in the millennium, there will be one language being spoken. And then after the millennium, yeah. only one language. Right. Because can you imagine the cooperation that humans could have with one language? Because uh, we are separated by language, we are separated by religion, we are separated by econ e economics, we are separated by a lot of things in this world. Some things you can't even get past, like right-wing Republicans. You can't get past their beliefs, their convictions. It's like, um, it's like uh, trying to, trying to teach an adult animal the habits of a totally different species. You can't do it. It's ingrained in them. It's like pushing a rope up a hill. You know, yeah. you can't do it. But uh, well, let me know when you you're finished with. I finished. I okay. called malarkey a liar, and that's it. That's okay. it. And I say, uh, according to the Bible, that anybody else who claims, and there's several of them out there, you can go to YouTube and you can you, you can watch videos that say, "I was in heaven, I saw it in heaven." <laughs> according to the Bible, as I said, as the Bible says, no one has ever gone to heaven except he who came down. Right. To, right. Yeah. I want to make one quick statement about deflate gate. <laughs> the, uh, you, of course everybody knows what deflate gate is. Yeah. Uh, any scandal has the word gate at the end. Uh, uh, <clears throat> New England Patriots football, you know, the offensive line of every team brings their own footballs onto the field. And uh, usually the referees do not check them. They, they do not examine them. Yes, they do. They do? Yes, they do. Well, then how the hell did that they, ball get deflated? We don't know that that's true yet. You're, oh, you're, it's you're, still you're, under investigation. Yeah, you're going, the referees look at the balls. Balls are then given to the quarterback. Right. He chooses his balls. So if there was a deflation, it had to be, what's Brady? Tom Brady. Tom Brady. It had to be there. Yeah, Tom Brady was like grinning throughout the whole thing saying, I don't know, I don't know what happened, I don't know, I don't know. You know, he had like a, like a, a, but it's very easy like a smirk on his face. It's very easy to, to deflate one though. Yeah, you don't, it's a tiny little metallic device. Yeah, and you device, put the little, little pin, pin in it, yeah. like with your car tires. Yeah, it's a little when thing. You, when yeah. you test them. Yeah. You could easily pocket it and never know what's in your pocket. Exactly. You know. Exactly. And uh well, we'll see. But what I'm saying what I'm leading up to is uh it's still under investigation, yeah. of course. It would have to be after the Super Bowl. And uh if it if it goes against the Patriots, uh this could be one of the biggest scandals in sports. Now, uh, uh, since the Black Sox scandal in the the turn of the century baseball. Ooh. You know, where the whole team threw the uh, World Series, sure, I sure, guess. Yeah. They threw the game. Anyway, oh and Pete Rose betting, doing illegal sports betting uh, involving his team, the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, oh, I saw a video. Somebody showed me a video of Pete Rose plowing into um, uh, the catcher. Like He was known for trying to take you out oh, of the yeah, game. Oh, yeah, at home base. Yeah, he took you out, but now they can't do that anymore. They have to, they have to step to the side, and tag you when you reach home plate.
So Bill Morrow says, no, no, they're supposed to traditionally ram into the catcher. Yeah, so people get concussions and they get injured. <laughs> I says, what about you playing? What about when you're a quarterback? I told him, why don't you play out in, um, in a field with no dome, out in the snow and ice and mud and, you know, for, uh, Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. You know, why don't you? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I dread that. No way. You, you. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I won't play out there. I says, well, you want to be a catcher and, and, and get plowed like, uh, like, like a Mack truck hit you? I had a cousin <laughs> who played, it was either high school football, I believe it was college football, and he was taken out. They, they killed his knees, and that was it. The man was finished. An accident in sports can happen at any given time. What if it ain't an accident? Uh, uh -huh. I heard Ty Cobb, the bastard, used to uh, slide into, uh, used to slide cleats towards the uh -huh. cleats first. So he, so he stabbed you with his yeah, cleats. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Guy. Yeah, but he was known to be a bigot and racist and nasty and Ty Cobb, you know, but uh, a lot of people were in those days, you know. I mean, it was just natural. Yeah, they cheated. Well, this is what I'm getting to when I mention deflating. It seems like America has become a country of cheaters. From from well, that's how you get ahead. From corporate America all the way down to a athletes, professional athletes. I mean, uh, guys on steroids, uh, all the scandals. Uh, you know, uh, um, a baseball player saying, oh, I beat Hank Aaron's home run record. Or, uh, meanwhile, they found out he was on the juice. Like, you know, people like a Barry Bonds and your Mark McGuire and Jose Canseco and all the other steroid uh, use that they lie about and they say they, there's a drug test going on and they, it might be a bogus drug test, you know, and it goes on and on and on. Now this, Deflategate. It's like it's uh, the crony capitalism of America shows that it's a country of cheaters. It's because you know it's that gotta get ahead, gotta get ahead, gotta get ahead, gotta get ahead. Any way I can, any way I can. Oh, you mean like those? Uh, what do they call them? Type A personalities. Well, they always have to have goals. They always, no matter how. Hold on. No matter how much they achieve, they have to have more. They need more and more and more. Well, I don't know if it has to do with type A like, like corporate America. Because it is just a matter of that they need that success to be able to be something. They can't, as you said the other day, quoting the Bible, be content with contentment. Yeah, ha ha why can't happiness be in different forms. Why can't someone who's content be happy, uh, you know, with what they have? Why can't a homemaker and a mother be a homemaker and a mother and be happy with her life? Oh no, but other women will say, what are you doing that for? Oh, get out there, get a, go get a career, you, you know, don't do that. Maybe she's happy. Uh, Maybe a woman's happy doing porno movies. Uh, Americans are hamsters in that wheel. You ever see the Lucy episode where she's by the, the conveyor belt with the chocolates coming down? And, and, she, and she had to eat something. That's Americans. Faster, faster, more, that's more, right. more. That's right. I mean, uh, uh, there's no being content with content. It never, it's, when it comes to greed, it never stops. It's never Disease, enough. That's why. You know, like uh, I mentioned on the on the group about up, uh, obsessions like hoarding and different psychological disorders. Well, the difference is greed is is evil, has the potential of being evil, and usually does, and the others are just psychiatric disorders. That's because greed hurts people. Greed hurts other people. Yeah. Now, your success by stepping on other people hurts them. So you can't sanction greed. So you're using people as a stepping stone. 
you're stepping on them. So if you are in a community, a civilization, a, a state, a nation, or whatever, and you're doing that, you're an evil person. And you cannot be sanctioned yeah. to continue and in that And this manner. is why... Coke, brother! This is why progressive Democrats or progressive liberals or whatever the hell you want to call them believe in regulating corporations to, to defang the demons. Mm -hmm. You need regulations. Now, speaking of defanging demons and uh, uh, corporations, what's the deal with uh, Bill Gates and his new contraption of converting shit and piss into drinkable water for poor people in Africa? Did you see that video up there? Yeah, he's, he's going like this with a glass. It's supposedly he's drinking it, right? There was a video up there on Facebook the other day showing what's going on in North Carolina where they raise a lot of pigs. Yeah, and a lot of pig fecal matter too. That fecal matter is in man-made lakes. Why they flush it into man-made lakes. Why can't they ferment it into, into ethanol, into, they into could. methane gas? They could, but they are not set up to do that. So what they do to supposedly drain those lakes is they spray the matter up into the air. Lovely. And it goes to people's properties away from where the people And then you make the people are. nauseous so they can't eat their dinner and they throw up. Well, I don't want no shit sprayed all over my house no. either. Fico, Big listen, shit. listen. All this fecal matter is potential uh, methane gas uh, or ethanol, whatever the hell you want to call it. I mean, uh, do what what Europe does, or fertilizer, like Germany or even Canada. If you're going to recycle and make use of everything, make use of it. I mean, a pig, they, they utilize every part of a pig. Uh, the Chinese even use the snout and the, 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 the feet. You can eat everything on a pig except the oink. There's an old story. The horse is going down the road. It takes a crap. The farmer looks runs out into the road and grabs the crap to fertilize his field. Sure, manure. Why not? That's how it used to be in the old days. Why not? That was natural organic farming at its best. And you know, small organic farms, they produce a lot more food than you think. Gary's into micro farming. Now. Yeah, no, he oh, without a doubt. And now you have these uh, uh, you have aquaculture together with um, um, hydroponics. Hydroponics, uh, you know, where you have a, a pond of tilapia, and you're using the water from the tilapia pond to water and fertilize your your vegetables and herbs, your produce, and it's like a, a totally sustainable thing, you know. Recycling. And I would have Bingo. commercial beehives nearby. So Better. the plants can be pollinated and you can produce your own uh, organic wildflower honey or whatever you happen to be growing. Oh, but that would interfere with the big agribusinesses cons consolidating all of their things under one roof. Oh, I, my heart, oh, my margins. heart, <laughs> my heart bleeds for big agri and big pharma. Now, I think this, uh, this uh, publicity about uh, Bill Gates's contraption for you know trying to be real nice to the desert dwellers of Africa I think this is a, a distraction from what he's really up to it's one of those looketh over there's that That's Republicans do uh, conservatives whenever do. you see a rich person philanthropical philanthropical hey it ain't true Look under the covers. There's something else going on. He who makes haste to be rich shall not be innocent. It's Correct. a Bible. Correct. Okay. Uh, so that's about it. Um, any, uh, of course, the usual crap is going on with the Republicans in Washington. You know, nothing new. Teabaggers are still 
brain cell deficient. Sink our teeth, brother. Let's sink our piranha teeth into these readings. I know we were long-winded. Pennsylvania. Yikes. Authorities near Philadelphia say three pet ferrets chewed off a newborn's nose and part of her cheek when her mother left her downstairs in her car seat. It is a known fact. Anyone with babies, with infants, do not have ferrets as a pet. These are not 100% domesticated animals. I knew this years ago. Officials say the month-old baby was attacked on Thursday by ferrets that escaped a cloth cage while the girl's mother went upstairs. What kind of a cage? Cloth. Cloth? What kind of a cage is that? Uh, even the baby could break out of that. Jeez. Authorities say the baby was in stable condition in intensive care on Friday after emergency surgery at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. Police say four other young children have been placed with relatives amid concerns about their parents' ability to care for them. Darby Police Chief Robert Smythe said investigators found more food for the family's ferrets and cats than for the children. Oh boy. Lovely. Ain't that a kick in the head? You know what? I don't. I really don't like people that are fanatics. I don't like fanaticism. There are people who, every day, animals, 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 animals. You know, to the point where they won't even buy leather shoes. Though they 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 wear vinyl or some crap. You know, it's like it's any fanaticism. Vegans, there are some vegan nuts that will say that will will uh, uh, scold you for drinking milk. I mean, or whatever, or, or having turkey for Thanksgiving, or having an egg, or having an egg. Give me a break. If you want to be a vegan, I respect that. If you're look, if you're if you're Hindu, they never they never uh, they never uh, bother anybody. Hindus, uh, which are usually vegans, they don't hassle anyone. It's, it's the American vegans that are nuts. I mean, I respect you if you're a vegan. And there are, there are some merits to it. And, and I've had vegetarian recipes that are very tasty. But don't be a nut about it, you know. I don't, I don't like fanaticism. All right, go ahead. Governor Christie's 2015 State of the State speech. Yeah reflected a man who no longer cares about New Jersey and whose insincerity is obvious. But I disagree that the 2015 Christie is any different from the pre-George Washington Bridge scandal Christie. In Christie's 2009 campaign, he posted a letter on his website to police and teachers that he would protect pensions that he was respected then. Yes, yeah, sure. Once elected, he took down those letters and declared war on all public employees. Well, is, isn't that typical of uh, most American politicians when they're campaigning? They, they tell you everything you want to hear? It's typical of Republicans because that's what they do. They're, they're, they're the biggest hypocrites who ever lived and liars to They move. tell you what they what you want until they're elected. Then they do what they want. Yes, not what you want. Okay. So you know even though they they claim to represent you right. when they're campaigning, right. they're not representing you. No. Giving a speech at a Koch brothers event, vetoing the access to the region's core tunnel implementing deregulation and privatization wherever he can, Christie obviously had his eye on the Republican presidential primaries. Mm -hmm. 
This is the same man who wasted millions of dollars to have a separate U.S. Senate election in 2013 to keep Cory Booker off the ballot with him. Oh, under, underhanded tactics are not foreign to Republicans. Christie did not make a wrong turn onto the bridge scandal. He's been driving to it his entire career. She. Okay. Okay. All right. I think we have a short one. Yeah. Before I think lunch. We have a, uh, a dear Abby here. Okay. <laughs> A short time ago, I discovered that my parents are swingers. Oh boy. Really? A short time ago? I had picked up my mother's that, phone to take a picture. That's shocking. And an incoming text caught my attention. When I read it and investigated further, I learned the truth. Mm -hmm. I don't mind what they do with their marriage. And I respect their choices. Oh boy. However... My siblings and I were raised in a strict Christian home. My parents taught us the opposite of what they are doing. Now I feel that they are hypocrites. <laughs> what else is new today, eh? How can they tell me to act a certain way when they don't practice what they preach? I'm not sure if I should talk to them about it or drop this entirely. Help! This is a tough call, man. This is like, yikes. You know what? It's her parents. I think if she doesn't talk to them about it, it's going to bother her and fester. Well, not mentioning names. But I heard somebody say yesterday, in describing his past life concerning smoking joints and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I believe that he did not recognize that today he is also still smoking joints. No, cigarettes. Right, correct. Cigarette. And I told him cigarettes, cigarettes are just uh, uh, just as much an addiction as any other su uh, uh, addictive substance and it is dangerous very dangerous to your health that is correct so you still have one vice that you have not overcome he says that is true uh -huh. cigarettes are very dangerous to your health and they are addictive but they don't get you high so what but they still they kill still destroy your they lungs they still kill you man yeah I mean, they're, they're, you never hear this mentioned, but pot also destroys your lungs. Oh, it does? Well, of course it does. It's a hundred times more destructive than a cigarette. What if, what if you use a, a, a water, a bong, that filters the, the, the smoke through the water? Well, what does that do? Well, doesn't it filter the tar? Does that take out cadmium? Does that take out the tar? No, it doesn't take out the, the tar? No. It doesn't take out the tar? It's tars? water. Smoke on the wall. If it does anything, dun, it makes them more available. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Well, when you when you dissolve something in something, you make it more available. No. So when you so consuming so if somebody's using marijuana for medicinal purposes, it is. I'm not you talking about baking and eating now. No, no, no. It, 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 Smoking. It, it is usually not in the smoked form. Is that true? If it's used medicinal, medicinal, yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 especially for kids. And uh, what, what, the, 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 that mother used it with their kid or something with cancer the other day? There was a video up there or something? Yeah, they took the kid away, arrested her, or did something? Yeah, well, they're trying to now or something like that, after she already, you know, got what, the results what, she wanted. What about this young, um, this young girl with cancer? What Same about thing. the government forcing chemotherapy on her? That that's despicable. Of course it is. <clears throat> Those Republicans who like small government, well, they don't like it then. Uh, they don't like it when they want to have it tell you about your religion, etc. The, 
the de deregulation has created worse than a Frankenstein monster. Oh, cool. Because every year that goes by, the right wingers in Washington, they're pushing for more and more, taking away your freedom a little more exactly. and more, being more intrusive every year that goes by, eventually slowly, like Nazi Germany was doing, slowly removing your freedoms little by little to the point where oops we have full-blown fascism and it's too late the people well we have full-blown fat I can't <clears throat> I can't understand why people don't get the terms correct they don't fascism simply means as Mussolini said the marriage between government and corporations period has nothing to do with totalitarianism which is dictatorship which is the Hitler a Mussolini with right. uh, 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 Saudi Arabian kings etc et right. et and et some of them were in disguise of having communism someone some of them like Soviet Union uh, uh, Castro uh, Hugo Chavez weren't these pretty they much were all totalitarian they were totalitarian governments correct they were not communist, they were not socialism. Yeah. Okay? Socialism and communism at its essence means rule by the people. Sounds good to me. Okay? That's what our government is supposed to be. But the Republicans will tell you very quickly, No! We are a republic. And a republic, in me, a republic means that you vote for me and I do what I want when I am in power. Yeah. And also many many uh, red states still think they're fighting the Civil War. They still uh, think the Confederacy well, is around. All right, let me finish up here because it's time for Yeah, you know, time lunch. for lunch. What exactly do you mean when you say investigate it further? If it means you search the history in your mother's phone, you crossed the same line children do when they search through the drawers and closets of a parent's bedroom looking for things that are none of their or business. Or girlfriends and wives who do this to their... So what she's saying is invading someone's privacy without permission is crossing the line. So, so she is saying hacking and snooping is wrong. Can we tell that to our government? Because I had it happen. The, the NDAA under Obama? I had it happen and to Bush. me. Twice. Yeah. Before labeling your parents as hypocrites, please remember that they raised you with basic values that are shared by the majority of people. If they have strayed from the path, it's their choice. And it may have happened after they taught you. They, Your good Christian values. They're probably, her parents are probably very nice people. It's just they like to bang different, you, they like to bang different uh, humans, different humanoids, different different folks. They, they like to have sex, you know, they got a little wild, open marriage, I guess. Uh, it's their choice. I think you should talk to your mother about what you did and what you found. If you do, she may have a few more lessons to impart. To impart. Okay, on that note, it's time for uh, the uh, Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman's gastronomic delight known as lunch. We will be joined right now by our voiceover artist, William H. Morrow III, with promotion, promo, and uh, his words of wisdom. Ooh, words of words wisdom. wisdom. Ooh. <laughs> Hi, I'm William Morrow. Wake up, people, because the truth is often, very often, a very, very hard pill to swallow. Hi, this is William H. Morrow. The best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. 
the newsletter of hard-hitting truth and news-fighting censorship and conservative propaganda since 1977. There is nothing out there like the newsletter censored in the mainstream media or the press. This newsletter is the very best way to join and be a part of our organization. We're living the end times, so you need newsletter censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com. Hey, listen, for the real hard-hitting truth, you need Newsletter Censored. And now, back to the show. Bye-bye. Okay, we're back. Thank you very much, William H. Morrow III. And uh, we're back in action. Um, you know... I, I hope it ain't, I hope this is not true. Oh, my levity bells got caught in the shillelagh. This is a conspiracy, man. Oh, here we go. Chisel is all a shame. I hope this is not true. Say it isn't so, say it isn't so. What? Jamie Oliver has recently sold out to Monsanto and is playing nice nice with Monsanto. I hope this is a lie, but the article looks legit. You it are in the Chisless Hall of Shame. Shame on you, you 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 little punk. It was just a little while ago that he was he got his uh, you know his food for the for, for the schools or something okayed. What kind of food? Decent food. Not GMO food? I would not think so. Well. I think someone's trying to put the shaft to Oliver. Maybe it's, maybe it's, maybe it's Monsanto themselves that concocted a false article. Oh, like I said, I haven't confirmed it. I just read it, and I hope it's not true. Just I like they, they accuse Obama of this, that, and the other thing. And he and, and he's not responsible. That's the first thing they do with a whistleblower. Is they blame him. Yeah, like Ken they try Ken, to corrupt him. Like Ken Create was telling me, oh Obama cut Medicare, so my father's uh, transportation to the hospital uh, is not available anymore. We have to take him to get uh, ki uh, kidney dialysis. He used to have. He used to have the hospital come pick him up and take him home, but Obama cut Medicare. I says, it, it wasn't Obama that cut Medicare. Stop blaming Obama. It's the Republicans in Congress. That's right. The president does not make the law. But his father watches Fox News, so that... Thank you. There you go. That, that probably that <coughs> figures. The president does not make the laws. He can suggest laws, but he doesn't make them that Congress does. Okay. Right. So if there are cuts to food stamps and the Medicare, Congress does it. That's the scumbags you reelected in Congress. The House and the Senate go along with that, and they send it to the president, and he signs it or vetoes it or vetoes it. You know, in this case, um, they got reelected because people didn't care and they didn't vote, whether they're progressive or not doesn't matter. The turnout was probably the worst in history this past November 4th and people didn't care. And this is what happens. A vote not cast is automatically a vote for a Republican because all the crazy right-wing nuts they make it their business to show up and vote. Yeah. Think about it. Well they have to stop those those uh, Democrat baby killers. You got this. Uh, yes, I do. You got because this, this thing is what about it is. baby killing. Ask them; they'll tell They're you. They're idiots. Uh, let me say it again. Listen, right-wing teabagger, religious holy roller nuts. A fertilized human egg is not a baby. A fertilized chicken egg is not a chicken. Use the brain cells that God gave you. 
Like like my grandfather used to say, use your head for something besides a hat rack. They believe that they are have the high moral high ground. Prove it. They believe it. Prove it. So therefore, when they vote, they have a bath phone to God. Yes. Prove it. They can pray, and they believe that they're praying to the God of the Bible. Whatever happened to people that are, are perhaps deluded? Whatever happened to people They're that still are counted. that are a psychiatric? If they say they went to heaven, they went to heaven. Oh, like Kevin Malarkey being full Alex. of Alex. I'm sorry, Alex. Oh, it's Alex Malarkey. The kid. Oh, the father is Kevin, I believe. The, all right, Alex. Really? Alex Malarkey being full of malarkey. It was in Time magazine. So he. So the kid confessed that, yeah, but he, the kid did say it was a dream, right? He didn't say it was a dream. He said he went to heaven. You know what I think? I think the kid had a very vivid dream, and the father took the dream and said, My child momentarily went to heaven. He wrote the book. So the father with the child, you with the, the son. Kid wrote the book? Kevin. Yeah, Kevin wrote the book, the ba old man. Ba based on his son's testimonial. Yes. yes. And, and that means Kevin is one of those zealot, holy roller nuts, evangelical nuts. But he is believed by thousands and tens of thousands of deceived counterfeit Christians. I'm very glad you used those two words. Who also believe See the counterfeit. that Democrats are baby killers. Uh, okay. Ouch! I clock myself Good. with my ring. A fertilized chicken egg. Dr. Bill is not a chicken. Well, you can tell me that all day long. A fertilized chicken egg is not a chicken. A fertilized chicken egg is not a chicken. But tell them that, and they're not going to believe you. They won't get past that. This is why I bring it up all the time. If the traffic light is green, and I took a photo of it, is that, can you still insist that the traffic light is red? If I just took a photo of Climate it? Climate deniers of the Republican Party constantly do that. So, climate change. So, okay, plant a, a, a profit before people in the planet until the very survival of living things on this planet are in jeopardy. Then they'll they will realize that you cannot eat money. Daniel, you cannot eat your Matthew money. Matthew 24. Very clearly, I think it's Matthew 24 32, very clearly states. If Jesus Christ does not come at the time he says he's going to come, there will be no flesh alive, left alive. Which means all you right-wing, born-again evangelicals are not going to be saved from the tribulation by the so-called rapture, even though they insist it's in the Bible. Certain, well, certain someone line, I know insists that it's all in the Bible. The timeline of the Bible <coughs> indicates that the Great Tribulation will last for two and one half years. After that is the Day of the Lord, which is a year, lasting a year. So therefore, those people that live through the tribulation will also be there to maybe live through the day of the Lord. Okay. There is a timeline in the Bible according to the, uh, what, uh, when and how these things come about. Now someone on uh, someone on one of your one of the videos last night was talking about uh, something about you know the end time and that it's like like Jesus could come tomorrow well that can't possibly happen because there are many other things that must happen before then 
and they are clearly outlined in the Bible. Well, look at the um, look at the uh, the subject of the the beast, the Antichrist. That's right. People throughout the ages have thought that certain uh, leaders that were not so nice were the Antichrist. They thought Napoleon at one time was at the Antichrist. They thought Hitler was. They thought. But you know what I mean? The beast is an end time phenomenon. It did not occur back then. Right. So it could not apply to those. Right. Well, plus... The plus beast is clearly outlined in the Bible as the Holy Roman yeah. Empire. Well, plus, plus bad things have happened throughout the history of mankind. Rotten things. Terrible things. So anybody in any of those errors could say, oh, we're in the end times. Yeah, but it would not apply, uh, it would not align with the Bible. Because, there, there's because certain, there are certain things that must occur, certain steps that must occur one after the other before we get to those points. That haven't occurred yet. Correct. Did you see the uh, seventh revival of the Holy Roman Empire of the Beast? The United States of Europe? Have you seen that yet? Not yet. No, but we do see the common mark. True. Of which it will probably outgrow. But there are like 23 uh, nations in the common mark today. But the Bible says there will only be 10 kings. 10 kings. Now, the UK is near walking out the door. Because it will not be a part of the Holy Roman Empire. UK. It lost its, it its entire uh, empire, just about. Because it was blessed through Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. They got their blessings back in like 1804. Right. Now the blessings have been taken away. So they are declining. As America is declining. Because Manasseh's uh, blessings have been taken away. Okay? So we're on a downhill, slippery slope. Slippery slope, yes. Slippery slope. But there are many things that must happen first. And that's why you have to go into the Bible, you have to get a timeline. And you can't just say, Jesus could come tomorrow. No, he couldn't. We don't know when he will come. But it won't be tomorrow. I can assure you of that. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Let us continue. Governor Christie. Governor Christie. Is planning to spend three days in England next month. Guy gets around. Meeting with business leaders and government officials in an effort to strengthen business ties with New Jersey. According to his office. He acts like New Jersey is a separate country from the Union. He goes to it's, Mexico to a, a, a improve all, New Jersey-Mexico relationship. It's <laughs> all a ploy to make believe he has some foreign policy experience. He is a That's sneaky, all. conniving character. He is a real character. I mean... My grandmother used to say, "There's, I mean, he, he just stands right out there. I mean, not just his belly, but his personality, his his conniving ways. He's like, he makes a great poster boy for the Republican Party. I mean, not he does not. I wouldn't say he's racist like the Southern Republicans, but no, the established Republicans hide it." Yeah. It comes out. It comes out in certain things, but they hide. It. Right. Down south, they don't feel that they have to hide. It. No. No, because it's down south. But the, you know, Chris Christie's in the Northeast. You know, you gotta mind your piece of cues. Yeah. Somewhere. Somewhere. But not amongst your own, like Mitt Romney showed us. Uh. You know, criticizing the forty-seven percent amongst his own. But he wouldn't come out and say that in a speech before actual Americans, middle class and poor. 
never hear that from Mr. Mitt Romney, who, by the way, for his third try at the presidency of the United States, he's changed his tune. He's talking about the poor. Until now, for now. Yeah. If he, if he got elected, I'm sure he could care less about the poor. Of course, of course. Christie is expected to visit London and Cambridge February 1 to February 3rd. This is an opportunity to strengthen economic and cultural ties between the United Kingdom and New Jersey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> while pursuing real opportunities in the life of sciences and finance sectors, said Maria Camella, his deputy chief of staff for communications. He doesn't need help with communications. He's a walking blowhorn. As with all of his previous trips, this is a way Governor Christie is to put, to not, excuse me, just help grow New Jersey, but really listen and learn. This will be the governor's fourth international trip since taking office in 2010. It comes as Christie considers running for the Republican nomination for president and works to strengthen his foreign policy credentials. Uh -huh. The governor's office did not provide details of who would travel as part of his delegation. Mm -hmm. And there was no list of specific people the governor would meet. As he has in prior trips abroad, Governor Christie is expected to meet with business leaders, local companies, and government officials, including leaders from the government of Prime Minister David Cameron. Last month, Christie met with Prime Minister Stephen Harper during a two-day trip to Canada. That also included a meeting with the Premier of Alberta, Jim Prentice, and business leaders. Yeah, he's, he's grooming himself for 2016. During a three-day trade mission to Mexico in September, Christie met with President Enrique Peña Nieto. Wouldn't it be great my, my, if, if, if my dream team decided, uh, you know, a, a, a Sanders Ventura ticket? Wouldn't that be fantastic? Or, or a Ventura or a Ralph Nader ticket? Well, let's say Sanders, Sanders Ventura. It would be outstanding. Anyway, continue. The governor's first international trip was to Israel in 2012. Oh, wow. As with previous uh, trade missions, Choose New Jersey, a nonprofit funded by corporations, will pay for the trip to England. Does Chris Christie have to pay more for his... Uh plane flight because he's carrying extra baggage. Because he can't fit in the seat. Extra baggage on the plane, boss. The plane. Remember. The levity bells. Hey. Remember. Some of the airplanes have moved the seats closer together. Really? You have no leg stretching room anymore. But how do you be... How you can't would, put your seat back. The how am I going to be comfortable if I have to take a plane? You can't. You'll probably get an embolism in your lake because because of a corporate decision like that yeah for to make more money more passengers oh man you get I, more seats how baby the, how the hell am i gonna is this the is these domestic flights or all of them oh it's going to be all of them one day well how are you gonna how about what if somebody has to fly to asia tough noogies 12 hours on a plane 13 you know embolism tough noogies huh Embolisms in the leg, baby. Go up to the lung and <laughs> you're dead. 
You're dead. Oh my gosh. How did you die? I was flying. Yeah, but an international plane flight has to be comfortable. Who says so? You said it before, it's a corporate decision. And they can do what the hell they want. And people could say, well, fuck you, I'm not going to take... But people don't. That's the problem. That's the problem. They can, but they the, don't. The lemmings. Yeah. The lemmings out there. While Choose New Jersey covers the cost of the travel and accommodations for Christie and his staff, taxpayers are responsible for the cost of the governor's security detail. Interesting. The state has not released the cost the state incurred for the trips to Mexico and Canada. But that they, these trips are really technically not mandatory for the well for the for the state benefit of, of the state of New Jersey. That's correct. They make believe. This made he makes believe yeah. it's economic it's really a campaign aid. trip. That's what it is. Yeah. And he's, ma campaign and, 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 and he's doing it on the taxpayers' dole. Correct. Well, some of it. This corporation uh, is paying mm -hmm, the rest. Mm -hmm. yeah. When Christie and his staff traveled to Israel, the state released the cost two weeks after the visit. Choose New Jersey paid 42000 to send the governor and his staff on that trip, while taxpayers paid 39871 in security costs. I don't believe that. $42,000? Travel to Israel and accommodations in its center for you and your staff? No, no. It was more than that. In addition to his international trips, Christie travels frequently for political events. I know that. He visited 37 states last year and attended more than 180 events as chairman of the Republican government excuse me, Governor's Association. While the association covered the cost of Christie's travel and accommodations, it did not reimburse the state for security-related costs. Oh, Christie's security. Like, I give a shit. Taxpayers have paid $824,463 in security costs from February 2010 through June 2014. Well, that's the end of that reading, right? Yes. I just want to remind people, don't believe any Republican, any right-winger, when they mention trickle-down economics, when they mention uh, taxing, like the old, old man that at the coffee shop, when I meet with William H. Morrill III, the old man, he's a, he was a longshoreman, and he was a union man, but he uh, he scoffed at and disrespected his own union and said he did not attend union meetings. So he sounded like a company ass-kissing, ass-kisser, and that's probably why he is Republican. He says, you know how many jobs, you know how many jobs this country will lose if you start taxing the rich? You know how many jobs this country will lose? I said we're losing them anyway because the corporate America's outsourcing them all. What do you mean how many jobs we're losing? No, don't tax the rich, don't tax the rich. And what else did he say? Um, Didn't you tell him about Oh, and he says Obamacare is bad, it's bad. No good. Hey, there is no trickle-down economics, brother. It's siphon up to the top 20% the devil's economics. It is never trickled down. It doesn't exist. It never will. No, all right. What were we going to say about the old man? <laughs> well, first of all, the old man didn't know where his benefits came from. Second, he doesn't know how jobs are created. They are not created through taxation. They are created through innovation and people starting up, you know, investment, people starting up companies and needing help. That's how jobs are created. Businesses, corporations, they start out, they need help. 
That's how jobs are created. You don't get that because my taxes went down. Hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna hire. Shall I start a company? Or should I start? If my taxes went down and I'm rich, oh, should I maybe hire 500 more people? Put them on the payroll? Or <laughs> maybe I'll just invest it and get capital gains. See, this man failed to also recognize that every positive aspect of his job as a longshoreman supervisor including all the benefits from his union and all the benefits the the labor laws everything he enjoyed 40 hour a week all uh, uh overtime pay all holiday pay all came from unions yeah. which are progressive right they're never conservative they're progressive unions are a progressive liberal Tool. Invention tool. Tool, yeah. yes, yes, yes. But when these people come up with the taxation thing, uh, creates jobs. What about when it taxation was ninety one percent? What corporations weren't making money? Oh, the profits. The economy was flourishing. That's correct. That was uh, uh fifty uh, years or that more. That was Truman Eisenhower, right? Before that. Oh, FDR then. Yes. 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 And before that, it was back in the 1800s and etc. They, 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 they changed the tax uh, codes and everything. Well, under uh, um, Hoover in the, in, the, in the 20s. The progressive. He, he brought it down to 25%, I believe, or whatever. Was he Republican? And of course, that was. Of course he was. <laughs> Even back then. Yes, <clears throat> but it used to fluctuate. Uh, back uh, back in the uh, back in the eighteen hundreds and the early nineteen hundreds and everything, the, uh, uh, the the rich didn't want to pay for the wars with their taxation. Well, it's historically, every time the tax rate on the rich was lowered, the economy ended up being in the shitter. That's correct. And every time it was raised, the economy uh, uh, got. It skyrocketed. It went up. That's correct. But improved. You see the problem. The problem is that the corporations, the businesses, they want that money. They don't want the government and you to have that money. They want it. And there's the problem. It's simple, basic selfishness and greed. Mm -hmm. Since the beginning of time. Vitamin D deficiency. Not a good thing to have. Might impact your mental health and seasonal affective disorder. And your immune system. A depression linked really? to changes in the season. Seasonal depression or SAD, S-A-D, is believed to affect up to 10% of the population. Yeah, because sunlight is uh, has diminished quite a bit. Depending upon geographical location. I mean direct sunlight, direct. Based on researchers' findings, vitamin D was likely to be a contributing factor in seasonal depression in that vitamin D levels fluctuate in the body seasonally in direct relation to seasonally available sunlight. Yeah, I hear it doesn't take that long for direct sunlight to be converted into vitamin uh, D3, right? 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. Vitamin D is also involved in the synthesis of serotonin and dopamine within the brain. Both chemicals linked to depression. It also works wonders with people with autoimmune afflictions, like multiple sclerosis, so on and so on. Well, they're finding a lot of things that it but, benefits from. But hey, in the old days, remember, 400 
400 micrograms only. International units. I mean international units. 400? That's gone up. That has gone up because my sister's medical doctor, who said she had a deficiency, gave her a prescription for 5,000 international units to be taken per day. Well, if she has a... If she has a deficiency, then your mother does also. Shut it. My Eats mother's a, she's a retired senior citizen. She's she's considered a shut-in. Oh, oh no, she takes it. Really? She takes it. At least a thousand. Well, at least a thousand. At least a thousand. thousand. That's what I I ingest. But uh, you need it, especially in the fall and winter, especially. Well, you need it all year round because. You know, I mean, when I was a kid, I was outside most of the day playing. Kids today are, are inside. Playing. Playing video games, you know. Texting, sexting. Yeah, well, mostly, you know, video games on their computer. Fornication on their and debauchery. Debauchery. Yeah, like, like these Republicans in Washington don't uh, 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 book appointments with high-class call girls and make the taxpayers pay for it. Yeah, right. Debauchery. Like that annoying woman, that annoying Republican witch, uh, Joni Ernst. Joni Ernst, the hog castrator. The hog castrator. So this means she grabbed the hogs by, instead of grabbing the bull by the horns, she grabbed the hogs by the balls? Probably bites them off. No, that's that's a Scandinavian yes. thing, I think. Yes. Oh my God. The reindeer. Oh, they do that to reindeer. They bite. That's the movie I saw many, many, many. They many bite movies the gonads off. Mundo cane. Mundo cane. Yes. Yeah. It's not good. So, so, so their boyfriends and husbands should beware. Don't oh. piss off your Scandinavian uh, woman. Well, what was that uh, woman who cut the uh, guy's dick off? Uh, um, uh, uh, Lorena Bobbitt. Yeah, Bobbitt. She was from uh, Ecuador or Peru, I forget. I think Ecuador. Yeah. John Wayne Bobbitt made a, por a porno movie just to prove that it still works. <laughs> anyway. The, the richest 1%. Yes. Of the population will own more than half the world's wealth by 2016. Not a good thing. Oxfam International said in a report released as the, as the World Economic Forum begins in Davos, Switzerland. Mm -hmm. Oxfam said the world's richest people saw their share of global wealth jump to 48% last year from 44% in 20. Oh, I guess the uh, the concept of a of a corporate plutocracy running the United States is also also wants to run the world because if the well, one how the hell do you think they keep their stuff in line uh, is by doing that. So if the one percent if they're not ruling the world, how are they going to get what they want? I mean, if the one percent is is uh, 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 is um, Taking possession of more and more of the world's wealth, then that's a that's a plutocracy to me. It's a power center, isn't it? Yeah. They gather power by every bit of wealth, every bit of land, every bit of uh, 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 corporations owned, etc. More power. Well, I want to salute mainland China for finally wising up and saying no to Monsanto GMO. They're, they're making an attempt to go, to eventually go organic and boot out Monsanto. I hope so. And I hope that happens, really. They've got sick and tired of everybody coming down on them for tainted food. And 
such. And I don't, I don't blame them. They're doing the right thing. So I salute to mainland China. I also want to say hello to my near and dear friend in Osaka, Japan, Miho. I want to say hello to personal trainer extraordinaire, as well as former WWE pro wrestling star, a good friend of mine, Mr. Ken Thiessen. I also want to say hello to my wonderful and a very brilliant uh, um, administrators on the Facebook groups, uh, Sash Boyle and uh, Jolton Joe Stebbins, and Anthony Laura, who is the new administrator on Everything is Food, my food and drink group. And uh, also to uh, Rick Brown and Eric Doyle of uh, Unconventional Asylum, the Unconventional Athlete. They're in Southern California. My greetings to them also. Oh, and I want to thank Jesse Ventura for, for his nice, kind words about me on his page. Uh, he apparently liked one of my posts quite a bit. Thank you, Jesse Ventura. You know what? I'm dedicating this show to Jesse Ventura. All right. Rising inequality is holding back the fight against global poverty. As the world's biggest companies lobby the United States and European Union for beneficial tax changes, at a time when average taxpayers are still paying the bill for the financial crisis, do we really want to live in a world where the 1% own more than the rest of us combined? The scale of global inequality is quite simply staggering. And despite the issues shooting up the global agenda, the gap between the richest and the rest is widening fast. Right. While world leaders such as President Obama and International Monetary Fund Chief Christine Lagarde have talked about tackling extreme economic inequality, we are still waiting for many of them to walk the walk the healthcare and financial services industries spent almost nine hundred million dollars to lobby the United States government for favorable legislation in 2013 and more than 200 million was spent on lobbying in the European Union at the same time, one in nine people don't have enough to eat. And more than one a billion people live on less than a dollar and a quarter a day. Good thing they're living in countries where food is cheap. But let's give more money to the rich. Oh yes, the uh, the rich, America's rich. The big corporations are getting even more free money, free corporate welfare, thanks to the Republicans. Oh yeah. Yes, they are. But there's no money for the poor and our veterans. They cut five billion from the uh, food stamps. Food stamps, five billion. How about that? But but many times over that. The corporations are getting for free. Not out, of, not out of the the Republican Party's pocket, but out of your pocket, the suckers. The middle class of America are the ones that are tax burdened. It shouldn't be the middle class. The middle class should get all the tax breaks. Small businesses, entrepreneurs, Main Street is part of the middle class. You know what? If I explain this common sense to these fucking numbskull idiot teabaggers, they they can't seem to grasp 
this knowledge, this common sense. They are under the spell of this way of doing things. They need a shillelagh right across the skull. Black and, thorn. And the way of doing things is we have given over to the private sector our very survival. Right, and their balls too. Okay. For if they don't give us a job, we starve. Because your very survival in America today, ever since the Industrial Revolution, is dependent on some employer giving you cash for your work. Yeah. And they act like they're doing you a big favor. All employers act that way. Of course, but they are not because they would not hire you if they had to pay what you were worth. And that is the capitalist system. They won't do it. Right. What's you have to produce more for them yeah. than they are paying you. Otherwise, why do they want you? Just think, if, if unions made a strong comeback, and we had, all of a sudden, we had a retail union, and fast food workers union, and everybody that was hired was, belonged to some organization like this that said, oh no, we have expectations for our, our employees. Oh no, uh, overtime pay? Nobody works for free in our union. You know, uh, 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 nobody has to work mandatory holidays, mm -hmm. so on and so forth. Fraternity leave, well, maternity leave. They'll tell vacation. you Americans are lazy. I don't care. Okay. Uh, too bad. Uh, uh, CEOs are not lazy. Look at Sweden, CEOs. look at Norway. Look at those countries. Oh, they you tax. You want to talk about lazy people, quote unquote? They tax the rich. Yeah. You don't have. Oh, to they can give. Uh, they can give. Yeah. Uh, you know, six weeks uh, leave. Uh, yeah. Mommy leave. Uh, all this kind of stuff. Yeah, and you don't pay for education, or or going to the doctor, no. the hospital, no, no, nothing, no, 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 medical no, no, care. No, no, no. That's the way it should be. Because they're people oriented, they're not corporations. These are oriented. supposed to be corporations, my friend. Corporations are not people. These Ms. are Romney. supposed to be rights, not privileges. Education and health care. Correct. Correct. All right. Are you almost done with that? With that one, I am done. You are done. All right. So that's it. Because I gotta run to the men's room. Oh my God! Thank you for joining us for this week's very invigorating new uncensored, hard-hitting truth coming to you from the Newsletter Censored Research Center in Northeastern New Jersey. <coughs> Have a good week. Have a safe week. Oh. Eat healthy and uh, all that stuff. Exercise and behave. Yeah. Yeah. And that, bring, bring some wealth to me. <laughs> yes. Oh, and get your free annual subscription with your gift to support this work. To newslettercensor.com. Yeah. Say so long to these jabronis. So long, jabrons. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.